Kingdom Blessings. I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? It's time for Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. Mm, yeah. Yeah, Moet It's time for the word. The word of God. Time to be blessed and mm, yeah. In the presence of the Lord. In his presence. Fullness of joy. Joy, joy, joy. And his right hand. Moet Let's go, let's go, let's go. The word of the Lord is coming from Psalm 119. Yes, we are continuing in Psalm 119. We're picking it up at verses 89 and 90. Again, we want to remind you and encourage you to go back to the previous Moet of Shelragas. We started at verse 1. We want to go through the whole scripture so that you can get everything that's in here. It is so good. I've been enjoying it. I pray that you've been enjoying it too. We're starting today at verse 89 and we're reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, forever, O Lord, your word stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness extends to every generation as enduring as the earth you created. Hallelujah. Forever, O Lord, your word stands firm in heaven. Your faithfulness extends to every generation as enduring as the earth you created. My dearly beloved, my dear sons and daughters, sisters and brothers, I am so ecstatic about this word today. It says forever, O Lord, your word stands firm in heaven. Listen, everything around us, just about everything is crumbling. They're taking down. It's changing. But it says that God's word stands firm in heaven. It stands firm. How long? Forever. It says his faithfulness extends to every generation. So it doesn't matter how old you are. His faithfulness extends to every generation. So his faithfulness, he's going to be here. His faithfulness is going to be here to every generation as enduring as the earth you created. Now, it says that heaven and earth will pass away before one jot or tittle of his word will fall. Listen how it, it, it reads in the King James Version. It says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth and it abideth. Now, if you look out the window and you see what the earth looks like, it, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It says that God's word is settled in heaven. The Supreme Court said, whatever God has says, case dismissed. So listen, what we need to do what you need to do is get what God's word says about your situation because his word is settled in heaven. It says forever, forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. It's settled. 
for the Lord thy God healeth thee. It's settled. For my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. It's settled. He will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. That's settled. Case dismissed. God made me fearfully and I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am made in the image and likeness of God. Settled. The Lord said, be fruitful, multiply, subdue, replenish, and have dominion on the earth over every creepy thing that creepeth on the earth. Settled. His word is settled. His word is established. In heaven, his word is settled. Now, the word of God also says that whatever we shall touch and agree, he said, it, it's settled. It, it's settled. Cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. It's settled. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. They'll soon be cut off, cut down. It's settled. Be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known unto God. It's settled. For we have this confidence that if we ask anything according to God's will and according to his word, that we already have it. It's settled. So tell me, son of God, what, what's your issue? What's the problem? Be still and know that he is God. It's settled. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word stands firm. It's not shaky. It's not um, wishy-washy. It's not unsure. But thy word is settled. Thy word is established. It's a done deal. He that will come shall come. And as we will, will be with him. It's settled. I go to prepare a place for you and where I go, you shall be there also. And if, if it were not so, I would have told you. It's settled. It's settled. God's word is settled. His word is firm. It stands sh sure. And his faithfulness extends to every generation. My grandmother loved the Lord. My mother loved the Lord. I love the Lord. It's going to extend his faithfulness, he was faithful to my grandparents, faithful to my mother, faithful to me. She's faithful to my daughter. His faithfulness extends to every generation and every, my great-grandchildren, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and my great-great-great-great-great, it extends to every generation. Beloved, remember forever. Forever is a long time. Forever. The word of the Lord is settled. It is firm. It stands sure. The word of God says he knows those that are his. What are we afraid of? Because God takes care of us. His faithfulness is to every generation. All we have to do is walk in his precepts. Walk in his commandments. Do what God has asked us to do. And he takes care of us. Every good and perfect gift comes from the father of light. He is light. He is love. So I want to encourage you, son of God. Be reminded today. Forever. Forever. The word of the Lord is established. And his faithfulness extends to every generation. Hallelujah. Come on, let's pray. Father, thank you. We enter into your presence giving you thanksgiving, giving you praise, honoring you, worshiping you, thanking you because you are our God. Because your mercy endures forever. Thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Your faithfulness that extends to every generation. 
Thank you, oh God, for your word that is settled, that it's firm in heaven. So, Father, as we decree it here on this earth, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May your word be settled in earth. And as your ambassadors, Father, let us decree your word and make it make it known in the earth so that it will be settled as in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you for the awesome authority you've given us. You told us to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue, and to have dominion here on this earth. For you made us in your own likeness, in your image. Father, teach us. Holy Spirit, teach us how to walk in the authority that you've given us. Lord, we do love you and we bless you. We repent of our sins. Forgive us for every iniquity, every wrongdoing, any wrong thought, Lord God. Search our hearts, our motives. Cleanse us, Lord. Create within us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us. Whatever you do, please, Father, don't take away your Holy Spirit. For your Holy Spirit leads us. It guides us into all truth. It convicts us of sin, Lord God. Father, it strengthens. He strengthens us. The Holy Spirit strengthens us. The Holy Spirit empowers us. So please, whatever you do, don't take your Holy Spirit away from us. Don't take him, Lord. But keep us in your care. God, we love you. We bless you. We adore you. We pray for our spouses today. We pray for our children today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're praying for the fivefold ministry gift. Every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, every pastor and teacher. We pray for every minister of the gospel that is preaching the unadulterated gospel of Christ, the gospel of the kingdom. Father, we're praying for every Levite. We're praying for every psalmist every worshiper, Lord God. We're praying that we will worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, we're praying for every son of God. We're praying that you will be glorified in and through our lives. Use us as tools in the name of Jesus as your instruments of peace here on this earth. Father, we crown you as Lord and master of our lives. And because you are our king, we are the kingdom of God. We are your domain. Help us to bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go. Father, pushing back the darkness, we ask that you would shine brightly in us, that we would shine in this dark world, that someone will look and see our good works and glorify you. Father, not for our glory, not for our fame, but that your name would be lifted and that the kingdom of heaven would be enlarged and expanded. God, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Teach us, Holy Spirit. Synchronize our hearts, our minds, our spirits with yours, Father, that we will walk in tandem with you, that we will accomplish the destiny that you have for our lives. God, we're crying out to you. We can't do anything without you. God, we cry out for new wine. We cry out, Lord God, for you. Oh, God, we're desperate for you. God, we ask that you will open up our spiritual ears and our spiritual eyesight in the name of Jesus, that we will see things as they are and not as they appear to be. Father, we want to see you high and lift it up. Father, have your way in our lives. We say yes to your will. We say yes to your way. Yes, Father, have your way in the mighty master's name of Yeshua, Amashiach. God, we love you. We bless you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness, your unfailing love. Thank you for your word, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for your word that is consistent and firm and established. Thank you for every promise in you is yes and amen. God, we love you. We love you and we bless you. We pray for the body of Christ. Make us one as the Father, Holy Spirit, and Son are one. Make us one, Father. Make us one as we abide in you and your word abide in us, Lord. We can ask what we will and it shall be done. Father, we're praying that you would make us one. Make us one. We're praying for intercessors, Lord, that you would strengthen them, that you would give them what to pray for, when to pray, what to say. Thank you for signs, miracles, and wonders, visions, and dreams that you are pouring out on your people, that you are giving us, Lord God, that you will give us insight on different things, Lord God, in the world. God, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. Thank you that our eyes see beyond what we are told beyond what we are seeing, Lord. We see beyond because you focus us, Lord. We hear beyond because you speak to us. We give you glory. We give you honor. We're leaning and depending on you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. We love you. We bless you. We adore you. We ask all these things in the mighty name of Yeshua, Amashiach. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, remember forever the word of God is established in heaven. So our job as ambassadors, we need to decree the will of the Lord here on earth. Like in the Lord's prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is our responsibility to decree it here on this earth so that his will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Beloved, this has been Moet Shorah, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray you've been blessed, revived, recharged, inspired, blessed and refreshed in the precious name of Yeshua Amashi. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Shalom.